Hey guys, it's Ben with Upstart HR, and today I want to talk about JCPenney. Um, recently they came out, they've been having some troubles financially, basically, and uh, in the last week or two, they there were some news articles about them putting, encouraging their supervisors to put the employees into categories, buckets, you know, red, yellow, or green, just like, you know, the traffic light colors, red, this employee is probably on their way out, yellow, this employee is kind of in trouble, but they're not, you know, they're not all the way in the red category, and then green, these are our star performers, we've got to keep these people, you know, they're the, they're the people that are really making things happen. And when the employees find out that they're being categorized, they freak out, and I honestly have no idea why. Um, this conversation's been going on for a while, you know, you call them A players, B players, and C players, whatever you like to do, but I don't know what people are thinking. Um, why should you be upset that someone is categorizing you based on your performance? I'm not talking about some illegal form of, you know, discrimination or anything like that, but, you know, when a company's looking at you as an employee, they have to decide, okay, is this person worth the investment in this trading inv we have a limited amount of money in our training development budget. Is this person worth that? You know, or if we put this into a sinking ship, is it going to be a waste? Do we put it into someone that's kind of an up and comer? Do we get more return by putting it into a star who will do even better? Or will it just have minimal returns? And they have to separate people out based on their performance. Um, I'm not saying that you, that you, um, you know, discriminate against them or whatever else, but for succession planning and all these different things, Yes, we should treat, we should, okay, here's how I'll go ahead. Give people equal opportunities to do things, but don't treat them equally if they're not equal. They're not. No one's, you know, I'm not the same as our accounting people or our engineers or whatever else. You're not the same as anyone else in your organization. You're all slightly different. You're all, you all have different um, needs and you know, interests and everything else. So while they might offer you all the same equal opportunities, they shouldn't treat you all exactly the same because we're not we're not the same, especially on the playing field of performance as it is. Uh, you know, if you treat your A players like you treat your C players, they won't be A players for much longer. You know, there's no incentive to do well if you're treated just like someone who gives the bare minimum effort or you know whatever that is anyway just some food for thought on categorizing people based on their performance thanks to jc penny thanks guys have a good day